Way, way back in Neolithic times and even earlier, people were practicing surgery. We find skulls which show signs of surgical activity. But not only was there surgery, the surgery was successful because you can detect the regrowth of bone ar around the incision. So people survived pa uh, Paleolithic surgery. So while we try to infer something about what did people know, even if they didn't write about it and leave artifacts, where the environment is such that it becomes, it's extremely difficult either to domesticate animals or to have sophisticated tools for agriculture. People continued evolving and thinking and learning. And so one of the easiest kinds of mistakes to make is to imagine that a society which is simple in its technology is also simple in its ideology or its intellectual life. The indigenous Australians are an example of this where they were in Australia for something like 40,000 years and they, are, they had an incredibly complex culture some of which is reflected in painting on bark and on stone but also they spend a lot of time in social interactions. There's simply very little that they could do to increase production. And they found ways of getting the best out of the harsh conditions of Australia. Uh, but they would visit each other a lot. They had a, a, a rich social life, which the European colonists regarded as lazy. And there was the World Bank study in, in New Guinea, which says that these people can support themselves with 15 hours of work a week. We have to increase their needs so that they will engage in more production and produce things for the market.